Hey everyone, it's me, Raichu, here with episode one of my new series, Drawing Inspiration, the series where art meets history. For each video, I will choose one famous artist and redraw their art in my style. During the speed paint, I'll tell you a bit about their life and add a few fun facts about them along the way. I am super hyped about this series, and I hope you are too. Let me know in the comments section what artists you want to see me do. Today's artist is none other than Norman Rockwell. He was an American artist that had a very realistic style and illustrated the everyday aspects of American life in the mid-1900s. Since Christmas was pretty recent, I thought it would be fun to redraw one of his Christmas drawings. This one shows three generations caroling out in the cold. Now let's learn about Mr. Rockwell. Just so the video doesn't get too long and too detailed, I'm only going to focus on Rockwell's artistic career instead of his personal life. Norman Rockwell was a very prolific artist that lived in the early 20th century. He created more than 4,000 illustrations for various companies in his lifetime, including the Boy Scouts of America, Coca-Cola, and probably most famously, the Saturday Evening Post. Many contemporary critics thought his work put American culture in an unrealistically positive and sentimental light. In fact, the term Rockwell-esque became known as a degrading way to describe art with an idealized way of depicting daily life. However, as civil rights became a more prominent issue in the 1960s, Rockwell used his art to bring awareness to the African American's cry for an end to racism. Many people took notice of this and Rockwell became a more widely known painter. Rockwell was born in 1894 in New York City. He took an interest in art at a really young age and enrolled at an art school at the age of 14. Rockwell's first paying job as an artist was working for the Boy Scouts of America. They published a magazine called Boy's Life, and Rockwell illustrated the covers of many issues. He became the magazine's art editor at just 19. That's pretty amazing if you ask me. Rockwell is perhaps most famous for the illustrations he made for the Saturday Evening Post. The Saturday Evening Post was a popular magazine that was in print from 1897 to 1963. It had all sorts of content, nonfiction, stories, cartoons, and the like. Rockwell began working there in 1916, making cover illustrations and becoming well known for his beautiful artwork. As his fame grew, more magazines wanted to have him work on their cover illustrations, and Rockwell took on those jobs when he could. Later in his life, after his job at the Post ended, he took odd jobs. Whether as painting movie posters or record covers, he stayed dedicated to his career as an illustrator. He died in 1987 of emphysema after a life full of passion and creativity. And yeah, that's a bit about Mr. Rockwell. I love how dedicated he was to his craft. Like, who enrolls at an art school at 14? That's so cool. I don't know, it's just kind of inspiring, you know? Anyway, a bit about the drawing. It took me forever. Um, <laughs> uh, Procreate has a feature where it automatically tracks the time it takes for a drawing you did. And this one took five and a half hours. Um, <laughs> well, to be fair, I was drawing three characters in one illustration, so I guess it makes sense. But yeah. Oh, this was also the first time I've ever drawn a violin, so that was interesting. I don't have much else to say, so I'm gonna sign off now. See you at the end of this speed paint. And here it is folks, the first drawing of my new series. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what other famous artists I should talk about in future episodes. I hope you learned something and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye!